In this video, we're going to talk about three different intermittent fasting studies. These are actually human studies, not rodent studies. I'm going to go over all the benefits and the results of these intermittent fasting studies in this video. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Kola and I've been a fitness trainer and gym owner for over 25 years. And if this is your first time here and you really want to improve your fitness, health, and nutrition, along with me, hit the subscribe button. I put out videos like this every single week and I wouldn't want anyone to miss one of the videos. And also hit that bell indicator that'll indicate to you that I have a new video coming out. Okay, let's get right to it. Let's talk about these intermittent fasting studies. We're gonna talk about these three human studies. You know, in the past, most intermittent fasting studies were done on rodents, but these are three really good human studies. So we're gonna break down each study. And I actually, there's a, there's a, there's a big, key takeaway that's different in each of the studies and that's what we're really going to talk about in this video. Okay so now the first study was an eight-week study and it was done with actually weightlifters. Pretty, pretty much they took a bunch of weightlifters, they split them up into two groups. One group followed an intermittent fasting protocol. They followed a 16-8 meaning that they were fasting for 16 hours and they took in all the calories within an eight hour eating window where the other group just followed a normal eating schedule, had breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you know, all, you know, during the day. Okay. They also, they made sure the calories were the same. That's going to be really important for this study. They eat the same amount of calories and pretty much the same macros, meaning that they had pretty much the same percentage of protein, fats, and carbohydrates. Okay. Now what this study, the big takeaway from st this study is that the group who intermittent fasted actually reduced their body fat much more. They lost about 16.8% body fat, whereas the other group who did intermittent fast only lost 2.8%. Okay, so this is, I get asked this question like every single day, is the only reason why intermittent fasting works is because you're restricting calories? And this study says, no, it isn't. At least with weightlifters it isn't. For example, the people ate the same amount of calories but the group that did intermittent fasting dramatically reduced their body fat much more than the group who did. Okay, that's the big takeaway from this study. Let's talk about the next study. Now, the next study, this is, this is a protocol I like to start people out on if they're new to intermittent fasting. For example, this study took, you know, split people up into two groups. One group actually um, ate breakfast 90 minutes later and had dinner 90 minutes sooner. So they kind of shorten up the eating window. Kind of hard to say. Maybe it was close to a 16, 8, or maybe like, maybe they had like a somewhere between an 8 to a 10 hour eating window. And the other group just normal, had just a normal 12 hour eating window. Okay. And what happened here is that the group that delayed breakfast, had breakfast later, and had dinner earlier, lost um, much more body fat than the other group. So another study that shows that intermittent fasting helps you lose weight, weight. But actually there was another note in the study that talked about how the people who eat breakfast later and dinner sooner also reduce their calories. And they did it automatically without even trying. So they weren't, they weren't told what to eat these groups. They can eat whatever they want. So automatically, they say about 57% of the people who ate breakfast later and dinner sooner just automatically ate less. So that's another advantage. That's the takeaway from this study that by just following an intermittent fasting protocol, most people will eat less food. Okay, now let's talk about the third study. This is kind of an interesting study. This study, they wanted to prove that intermittent fasting, like the benefits of intermittent fasting, all the health benefits independent of weight loss, meaning that they wanted people to follow an intermittent fasting protocol. For example, for example it was a small pilot study, five week study, but they limited people to a six hour eating window in one group and the other group, you know, just followed a normal eating protocol. Okay. But they really wanted to make sure these participants didn't lose weight. So they really kept their calories up. Okay, they really wanted them not to lose weight. They wanted to see if fasting improved some of the biomarkers, for example, and, the, and it actually did. Like for example, the people who fasted increased their insulin sensitivity. Actually, the people who did follow the intermittent fasting actually lowered their blood pressure. And the, the, beta, the beta cells worked better. Those, you know, those are the cells that help produce insulin in the pancreas. That worked better. Let me look at some of the other advantages. Um, triglycerides actually went down. So there really was a, a lot of health benefits 
from intermittent fasting, independent of weight loss. So no one in this group actually lost weight who followed intermittent fasting, yet they had a lot of improvements in their health. Okay, so, so what's the big takeaway from, from these three studies is I really think intermittent fasting, I, I sometimes I like to use the term time-restricted feeding works. It works, you can pretty much lose weight without reducing calories by limiting your, your, your calories to a, a short eating window, right? You can improve your health even if you don't want to lose weight. You can potentially lower your blood pressure if you're insulin, if any type of insulin you know, resistant issue that can make you more insulin sensitive. And actually, it will most likely make you eat less food. Okay, well, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And also leave a comment if you've been experimenting with intermittent fasting or time-restricted feeding. If you need any help, let me know. I really would love to help you. Okay, take care, everyone. And, and don't forget, subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day.